Hello everyone and welcome back to another video for Destiny 2 Season of the Hunt aka Beyond Light. Today I'll be showing you guys how to get over 1250 light with ease and without any hard work. Well, there will be hard work, but we'll get that to a moment. So I'm going to show you guys my Warlock here. As you can see, I am 1262. I almost have all 1250 gear except for some weapons, of course. My Relic is plus 12 but my arms are 1249. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, but before we continue, if you guys could do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button, subscribing helps me bring out content to you guys faster so you guys can see it first, and that way, you know, I can help you out and answer your comments easier. Anyways, guys, we're gonna get into it. So, one of the things you wanna do if you're struggling to get the 1250 light in general, this is what you wanna do, and then I will introduce how to get to over 1250 light. So what you actually want to do is you want to go out and you want to do all the weekly bounties from each and every faction, at least in the tower so far. That is eight Vanguard bounties minimum, eight live action, so sorry, live, live fire exercises, uh, crucible bounties, eight guns due, and then I will introduce how to get to over 1250 light. So what you actually want to do is you want to go out getting an Engram each from the people in the tower. Now, of course, you know this. We did get some gear here. So as you can see, it is 1248 and, you know, the Insight uh, helmet will be 1247. That's okay. Uh, Crucible bounties, eight guns due, and then I will introduce how to get to over 1250 light. So what you actually want to do is you want to go out getting an Engram each. Now, once we've done this and we've kind of, you know, turned in everything here, you will realize that eventually, you know, we will end up being like, okay, well, I can only get, you know, powerful uh, crucible bounties, eight guns do, and then I will introduce how to get to over 1250 light. I wanted to code them all at once, but because we've already reached our max, it doesn't really matter too much. Doing all these bounties will not only give you loads of experience, but will also get you up to 1250 light easily. Once you're at 1250 light, the only way that you can continue through the game and get over 1250 light is by doing other things such as pinnacle activities. More on that in a moment. I'm more so grabbing everything so you guys can see. So as you can see, everything is at a max drop of 1250. The world drops in Destiny, again, will only drop at 1250. Do all these every single week on each character, and if you're struggling to get up, that's okay, that's what the game is for. You know, with the new DLC, the campaign on your first playthrough will be tough, second, nothing, third, not at all. So, once you've gotten every single bounty completed and gone to every single vendor in the tower, turn in the Engrams, and each engram that you turn in, make sure you put on the equipped gear. Once you put on the gear, it should be a higher light than what you have. Again, max being 1250. So as you can see, we got some boots here. They are 1250. Open up the next one. We got gauntlets. So that's what we needed for our warlock to be 1250 for each piece of gear. Now that we have 1250 for each piece of gear, what you want to do is you want to load up the world map. On the world map, there'll be a bunch of different activities, but if you've done the campaign and stuff like that, you will see that in Empire Hunts, it says Pinnacle Gear. Pinnacle Gear is how you end up getting past 1250. It says the max light is 1410. That could be for every single season coming up far, but the only things that reward Pinnacle Activity is the Deepstone Crypt, Empire Hunts, Exo Challenges, the Nightfall Activity, as you can see here, Strikes, Gambit, and Crucible. There is also the Wrathborn Hunts, as you can see here, that reward you with different Pinnacle gear. So what we're just going to quickly do is we're just going to go and do the quest at Thieves Landing and once we do that we're going to see what kind of light level we get from that piece of gear. Also by leveling up your crucible bounties or sorry your crucible reputation will get old gear. That all depends on what your rank is of course so be be in mind that it varies but usually it does reward you with powerful gear. 
as you can see it does say pinnacle gear as well so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna i'm just gonna play through this mission off camera and then we're gonna go talk to crow and see what we get okay everyone so we completed the wrathborn hunt and now we're gonna talk to the crow aka prince aldrin and we're gonna talk to him about you know getting our pinnacle gear if we go into our inventory here, you will see that we did get 1252 gloves. Everything that you get will either be one light or two light above what you have. Now be very cautious with this as it very it varies on what kind of gear you will get. Usually you will get something that you don't have or in my case you will end up getting a primary at 1251 which that does suck. But to maximize your pinnacle gear, make sure that you level up your characters as much as you can and then do the activities to make sure you get max gear. Essentially, once you reach that peak over 1250, you really don't need to worry about other activities. Simply, again, load into Gambit, do three Gambit matches, load into Crucible, and then do your three Crucible matches of regular, not comp, and then load into Vanguard, do your three weekly strikes and the Master Nightfall, or sorry, the Ordeal, and do the 100k if you can, and then finally, do the EXO challenge, and then the Empire Hunts if you can. And finally, do one last thing, well, the Wrathborn Hunts, and then finally, go and do the Deepstone Crypt Raid. Everything in here, you can go beyond 1250 without the raid, but the raid will reward you with the best gear. Remember, there are many encounters to this raid, and you can get easily three or four light levels per character so in theory if you're doing it on all three of your characters and they're getting more and more experience every time you do them so say you start on your hunter you do all your pinnacle gear and then you choose to do the raid you will get a few points higher say you do it on your next character your warlock say that you started off at 1263 and you are now 1265 Say you do it everything on your Warlock, and by the time you reach the Deep Stone Crypt Raid, you will be, say, maybe 1268. Then you do it on your third character, 1270. These are very low increments, but bear in mind, it's progression. You will also be able to level up your Artifact, but again, be aware, the Artifact does take some time to level up. As you can see, the more you level it up, the more XP you will need. To maximize your XP gain, go to your Ghost and make sure you put on the Blind Light Experience Ghost mod, which increases XP gains by 12%. This is huge when you pair it with its Purple Fire Team of 3, so you get bonus experience also from the Seasons Past, the Small Fire Team bonus. That's been the video, guys, on how to maximize your light gain and on how to get over 1250 light and up to 1250 light. If you like this video guys and you want to subscribe that'd be great, like the video, comment down below if you're having trouble doing this or you need an explanation in the comments. I hopefully helped somebody today and as always guys have a great day and peace out.